Hi everyone! Welcome back sa ating bagong YouTube channel. Ito ang pinakamaingay ng YouTuber sa walat ng YouTube. Ako si Kabibig! Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment below kung ano ang inyong kuro-kuro opinion tungkol sa ating topic na pag-uusapan ngayong araw na to, mga Kabibig. Nako! Trending yun naman si Mama Len Len. Oy, oo, alam nyo ba kung ano ang kanyang topic doon sa Obama Democracy Forum? Democracy na naman. Tackling and disinformation, protecting democracy. Hanggang kailan ba matatapos ang pag-discuss about democracy? Tanong ko lang, hindi pa ba natin nakuha ang democracy ang hinahanap natin? Anong klaseng democracy or freedom ang gusto ba ng sambayan ng Pilipino? Ay nako, tumatanda na ako. Ganito pa rin ang ating topic. Oy, sabi ni Mama Len Len sa kanyang ano eh, question about, this, sabi niya ha, this information has actually evolved over the years. It's not just pushing fake news or propaganda, but it has evolved to the point that a separate public sphere has already been created. But kailangan, uh, you, you have to leave on what is happening in our world right now. Oo. Kung patanga-tanga ka lang, kung primitive pa rin yung style mo, yung pag-unawa mo about this information, eh kung tanga ka, kung bobo ka, hindi ka talaga mag-search kung ano ang katotohanan, eh di, makatanggap ka talaga ng fake news. Kung martes ka lang na um, expected ka lang or eh, mag-expect ka lang na babasa ka ng mga komento ng mga martes din, natural, makakuha mo masagap na information is fake news. Okay, ito pa. Such that it seems like there are two different, separate, almost incompatible information information ecosystems that already destroyed common baseline of facts which is very essential for discourse, for discussions, for accountability in a democracy. Democracy na naman! Kung nag-evolve inyong disinformation, sana yung pag-intindi natin sa democracy, sana nag-evolve din. ba? Diba? Yun ang aking understanding ba? Kung yun ang ating pag-intindi. Oh. Uh, pakinggan natin ha, yung uh, usapan nila ni na Lene Robredo at iba pang panelista sa Democracy Forum ni uh, Obama ng Obama Foundation. O, sige. Okay, mga kabibig, pakinggan tayo ha kay Lenny at yung ibang panelista. Ito na. But Lenny, I know that um, when you and I spoke at lunch, you were talking about things you would have done differently yeah. in your experience as a politician in the Philippines um, with President Duterte. Right? And, and I'd love to, since we have about... Uh, almost 20 minutes, um, just kind of go into some of your learnings as a person who experienced this, where the state actually plays a major role in the disinformation campaign and how you thought about that experience. Wait, disinformation campaign? Tapos na-mention yung ang pangalan ni Pangulong Duterte. Ano bang ginawa ni Pangulong Duterte sa'yo, Lenny Robredo? Until now, galit ka pa rin? Hindi naka-move on, te? Nagrabe naman. Pero talaga ang itong babae ding ito no hindi niya hindi din nila alam kung ano ang klasing pol uh, ano, government ang nasa Pilipinas kung ano mga klasing politiko ang nasa Pilipinas before you speak something towards the Philippines democracy about about Philippines is eh sana mag-research ka kung anong klasing mga politiko ang nasa Pilipinas para meron kang dalawang dalawang ano ba dalawang ideya no ito kay Lenny ito yung isa-isang politiko ito kay Lenny ito yung kaduterte hindi yung agad-agad ba na judgmental ba? Oye, let's proceed. You know, I was I was telling you during lunch um, that we committed a lot of mistakes in responding to disinformation. Wait, kasi ang pangit dito, si Lenny lang ang kanilang pinakikinggan. Si Lenny lang ang tanging um, source nila na ito ang nangyari sa Pilipinas, which is very unfair, di ba? No? So, maniniwala talaga sila kay Lenny kasi si Lenny yung nag-feed up kung ano o ito yung nangyari sa Pilipinas, ganito kagulo ang, pang, ang gobyerno, gobyerno ni Duterte, ganito ngayon ang Pilipinas, na parang wala ng demokrasiya ang Pilipinas, tapos kami, ginagawa namin lahat, parang we are fighting for the right democracy of the Philippines, nilabanan namin ang disinformation, yung fake news, nakote, parang self-centered po kayo. Parang you always... Um, Appreciate your own self. Kung anong ginawa mo, de ba? Um, we it, it started really bad in 2016. Um, when I when I when I won. As Ay, my... talaga. 
Yung pagkaupo mo pala, yung pagkaupo mo, Lenny, doon na nagsimula ang pag, pag, pag ano na mga fake news, pag ano ng disinformation. Noon pa, te. Oo, noon pa, sa panahon pa ng Kastila, te, may disinformation na. So, bali, ikaw talaga ang bida dito. Pabida-bida. Kaya, walang nagmamahal sa'yo kasi pabida-bida ka. Jollibee ka. Starting from you, po yung pag-upo mo ng Vice Presidente. <laughs> Kaya, kaya, oy. Is President of the Philippines. But the first mistake that we committed was that ano? um, my, initial, my initial stance at that time was their fake news don't dignify. Well, okay. <laughs> talaga? Eh, ba't ka nasasaktan? Eh, ba't hindi ka makamove on until now? Yun pa rin ang topic mo, disinformation. Kung talagang <laughs> hindi ka nasaktan sa mga fake news, kung talagang hindi ka apiktado, you never talk about this matter. O, di sana, sabihin mo, let's talk, talk about that issue. Let's talk about economics. Ay, Dave, sabibig, about democracy ang topic. O, di, mag-isip si Lenny na isang idea na hindi talaga yung parang, parang sinasabi mo ang pangit ng Pilipinas eh. Sabi mo, lahat ng tao ng Pilipinas nagbibigay ng fake news. ba? Diba? Ang pangit ng imay ng Pilipinas pala. Um, we, we thought it was the right thing to do. We thought it was when, when you go low, we go high. But we realized today ano? that it was the wrong response. Anong response niyo? Because nyo? when we tried correcting fake news, I think three, three years hence, it was too late. It was like we were trying to correct But the fact-checking was just being heard in our own echo chambers. Fast-checking! <laughs> fast-checking, te! Talaga ba? Eh, yung mga ibang ang against sa'yo, pag mapopost sa Facebook, pina-fast-check. Kasi mali daw, fake news daw. Eh, tungkol naman po sa inyo lahat yon. Lawe? <laughs> Gulo-gulo? Because there's a separate reality already. It's like we could not penetrate into the... into the cells that have been um, created because of this information. And, you know, we have supporters. And our supporters were also um, crying fight fire with fire. So some of them were also trying to fight, um, fight all the disinformation. Totoo. Let me educate you. Diba? Ito yung tagline nyo na parang nakaka-open. Uh, sabihan ka na isang taong let me educate you so meaning parang bobo kami pag may lalapit sa amin na let me educate you uh, alam mo naman ang Pilipino mga emotional, sensitive so ginamit nyo pang let me educate you so yun pala yung strategy nyo na ipamukha yung mga Pilipino na bobo pag hindi kami maniwala sa mga sinasabi ni Lenny or kung mga kampo ni Lenny bobo na ba diba? so ano ngayon so sana nasabi mo ito and with um trying to correct um, everything on social media. Everything, But huh? We felt like it just added to the polarization. And we know, uh, as, as was said earlier, it, it's the populist playbook that you agitate one party and rage the <coughs> other. And when, when everything is so polarized, then there's no common baseline of fact anymore. There's no chance for people to, to discuss and to, to do... Um, you know, a, a, a fair amount of discourse. And, and we tried looking at best practices. Actually, we, we, we looked into Turkey's um, radical love. It's uh, the, the radical love campaign of the opposition in Turkey. We tried that, and I think to a very large extent, we succeeded in some way. At first, we were trying to tell our supporters, be more kind, be more um, calm, be more understanding. Wow! Kind, calm, understanding. Let me educate you. Sasabihan ka nila, bobo. Bobo daw yung naniniwala kay BBM. Bobo daw yung sumusporta kay Duterte. Oo, magnanaka, kung ano mga sinasabi nyo. Let me understanding, calm. Ano pang sinasabi nyo? Eh, parang sa palyata yan sa'yo eh. Parang ang buton mo dahi, buton ka. Uh, but eh? but um, it, it was difficult. It was difficult because um, everything was so polarized already. But I think we made a, a breakthrough when huh? we brought the campaign out of social media already. Mm. But it was too late. It was during the campaign. Uh, we, did, we did, we called it tao sa tao, puso sa puso. It means person to per person, heart to heart. Bakit puro campaign? Bakit puro election? Bakit... Puro ganito yung topic nila. 
tackling disinformation, protecting democracy. Bakit may freedom naman si Lenny sa kung ano ang ginagawa niya eh? Kung ano ang kanyang ginagawa during campaign, may freedom naman siya. Eh bakit ba pinagbabawal ba na pinagbabawalan ba natin si Lenny mag, mag ano ano siya sa sa, sa eleksyon? Hindi naman na. Kahit sa nabihan tayong let me educate you bobo ka. Hindi naman ha. Hindi kami pinag hindi ka namin pinagbawalan pati yung mga kampon mo, hindi ka namin pinagbawalan. Protecting democracy. So it was encouraging our supporters to go out of social media, try to talk to as many people who do not share your values, who do not share your beliefs. Well, let me educate you. Know, you. And try to discuss in a very calm manner. And we calm have made a lot of breakthroughs. But as I've said, <coughs> um, time was too short. Ay, nako. Oo nga, time is too short. Kaya konti yung boto mo. I I I hindi ibig sabihin time is too short. Um, hindi mo na ano na ano yung mga tao na ano paniwala sa iyo. Hindi 'yon eh. Hindi 'yon, Lenny. Mali talaga yung strategy niyo. Mali talaga. Aminin mo, maling mali yung strategy niyo. And our campaign now is to continue those conversations. Um, start with your traditional traditional networks like families, a work, school, and then go out of the communities. Um, during the campaign, we were able to um, form a large number of volunteers because of that. A lot of people felt um, very much grounded because of the conversations with people who were from a different perspective, who believed in other things um, different from what they, their beliefs are. So it's, it's the track we're trying to take, uh, bring the conversation out of social media. Uh, there are two groundbreaking um, researches about disinformation in the Philippines. It was headed by a group of um, Filipino sociologists and academics. Um, the head is Jonathan Ong, who's a Shorenstein Fellow at the um, Harvard Kennedy School. Um, and, and those two researches are groundbreaking in the sense that Number one, it unmasked the entire uh, disinformation operations in the Philippines. And number two, the latest one is really trying to frame everything as not just disinformation, but a, a broader influence operations already. That there's a set of, um, set of recommendations that would guide us as we go along. So it's not like six years ago when we were groping in the dark on what to do. Right now, we have learned from our lessons and we're moving forward. Ah, learn from their lesson and moving forward. Kasi may plano tatakbo. <laughs> Oo. Oo, te. Huwag tayong maging plastic. Oo. Kasi you're moving forward. You learn your lesson. Eh, malapit na ang election for senador. Tatakbo to. Pag hindi nyo tatakbo si Lene pag senador, mm, padrama-drama. <laughs> Ako, alam na ang galawang politiko style. Ako, tumahimik ka Lene. Mm -mm. Wag puro Pilipinas ay wag puro about you. Wag puro sa kontra mo. Ang pangit eh. Oo. Sana iba na lang ang mga topic-topic mo diyan. Hindi maganda. Mga bibigyan ng komento niyo dito. Parang nag-high blood ko ni Lenny. Eh, every now and then. Ay, nako bahala siya. 